All of these problems, you have to do statics to begin with in order to find the forces at the pins, the forces at cables, things like that. <clears throat> so this one, I did statics. I sum the forces in x equals zero. I sum the forces in y equals zero. I sum the moments about a point equals zero. And so I found that FBC is 12.5, AX and AY. For a pit, the force at a pin is the magnitude of AX and AY, right? I don't know how y'all did in statics, but my statics class, every pin we do an force in X and force in Y, solve for both of those, force in X and force in Y, and do A squared plus B squared equals C squared to find the magnitude of the force. So do statics in order to find the force at pin A and the force at pin B. And then these are the forces that you, you would use to calculate the stress uh, in the pins. These are the forces you would use to calculate the stress in the pins. All right. So this one I attach to that document. So use statics and you've got, a, you've got two forces at a pin, but, but get the magnitude. And that's the force that you're gonna use for shear stress and that's the force you're going to use for bearing stress. But for shear stress, you might divide it by two. If you see that it's in double shear, if you see that it's in double shear, then the shear stress would be uh, 21.4 divided by two, right? Because that side view showed you it was in double shear. Um, <clears throat> okay.